Squad! What? How's it going, Squad Nation? It is your boy. Thanks. And today, we is back once again with more Dragon Ball Sparring. Ew, man. Listen, man, listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me tell you, let me give you something right now. First off, shout outs to all the creators. Shout out to all the like the YouTubers that went to Summer Game Fest to cop some raw gameplay footage of Sparking Zero. Y'all, the homies, y'all, the real ones. Th this game is looking like some freaking elite level shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. This game is game of the year. I, I don't, I'm sorry. I, this game is game of the year. I don't even think Sonic X Shadow is even coming close to this. Which, by the way, Sonic X Shadow is also coming out on October, same month as Sparking Zero. So it's two games. <laughs> two games. My ass is gonna be playing like crazy. Y'all, in October, don't even like contact me, bro. Like, I'm, I'm basically, I'm in, in my own zone. I'm in my own bubble, bro. I'm in the incubator cooking myself playing these two games. But that's a whole other thing, bro. Uh, but, and also to the creators, if they ever watch this video, my point of the, my last video still freaking stands. I'm coming for all y'all asses when this game drops. <laughs> y'all be better be ready. Y'all better, y'all better pr protect your butt cheek. I beg your pardon? You so freaky ass nigga! Fuck me. But anyways, regardless of that fact, regardless of that freaking fact, bro. Um, bro, Sparking Zero is just absolute freaking fire. First off, I, I think the first thing we need to get out the way is the two modes that was already like confirmed already. I mean, it was already leaked. I already, I mean, again, like I said, before, before they even like revealed it and really like give their in-depth discussion about it. Um, I already covered it before the whole, like, the whole little showcase that they did, blah, blah, blah. Episode battle and custom battle. First off, episode battle, obviously, you play between... And this, now it's confirmed it's, like, eight characters now. Where you play as Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo, and a few others. Probably Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha, and I think on one other person. Because why Krillin, Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha? Because they were, like... I'm going based off logic from Budokai 3. Because in Budokai 3... Those were the characters you was able to play as in that, you know, saying. And since Episode Battle is kind of like akin to that little story mode like design in, in that in that sense where pretty much choose between certain characters and you follow different like, you know what I'm saying, either the canonical path, the what if scenario, like the what if path, you know what I'm saying, like, the, you know, what if routes type B. Again, like I said, bro, come on now, come, come, come on now. Anyways, but yes, this, again, episode bell is already looking fire, okay? Like I said, I, I like the fact they uh, they really took a lot out of, uh, it, literally, it, it really is Budokai 3, if you really think about it, when it comes down to that story mode. The only thing that was missing was, like, just them flying around, but uh, I think, but I, I'm, I'll have to, like, really look at it, because as far as I've, heard, well, I've seen from, like, the little HUD thing for, like, the story mode or like that, it's more like akin to Infinite World than anything else. But again, I'll just have to wait and see so I see more and when the game comes out. So there's that. But the, I think the, pretty much, I even said this in my last video. I'm pretty sure what everybody was hyped about, what I'm mostly hyped about was Custom Battle. Oh, they put in so much rain to that. Custom Battle, for those that don't know. You could literally create a slew of what if scenarios and battles, you know what I'm saying? And I, I I'm gonna keep it a bug. From what, from what, based off of what I heard from the sources that they told me, again, it, it looked like you know what I'm saying. They, the possibilities were pretty much endless. And after looking at you know what I'm saying, the custom battles stuff that they showed off, oh. God, that is endless. You can make a whole bunch of stuff with this. Like, f ranging from literally, I mean this literally, from voice lines to, 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 to just, uh, bro. This, 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 this mode in general, this mode in general, just gives Sparking Zero so much replayability value. 
Point blank, period. It has so much replay. Like, bro, I'm pretty sure by, like, after people pretty much play, like, through, like, the episode battle and stuff like that, because, again, like I said, episode battle, you can either take the can or whatever, what if route, you know what I'm saying? There's, like, a limit. There's a finite of what if pathways in episode battle. And custom battle, it's endless. <laughs> you can create whatever, what, whatever, like, just scenario in battle and, and even better post it online for other players to play it like bro this is basically mario this is a mario maker with dragon ball in it bro they, we we won we we won there's nothing more that needs to be done like outside of dlc they really don't need to even i'm gonna keep it a block honest with you bro like i don't even think they need to put more dlc or anything else if once this game drops after like after like obviously the season passes and stuff like that because again like I said bro like this is this alone literally is gonna carry us like bro this custom battle mode that they just dropped that they literally put into this game it's going to literally outlive xenoverse xenoverse don't got nothing like this they got parallel quests but you can't like you know make more parallel quests that's like the one thing that xenoverse 2 don't got bro and that's actually insane oh my god a custom battle just ah just absolutely beautiful now modes aside uh, oh uh, there's one more mode and that's like local multiplayer you know what i'm saying you playing with another person like, you know what I'm saying? Like on a couch or TV, like, you know what I'm saying? Have two controllers and y'all is like playing while side by side and stuff like that, split screen, everything. Bro, again, like according to, like again, eh, me personally, I'm not really into the whole look. look like I, it should be a feature. It most definitely should be an absolute freaking feature in Sparking Zero. But the thing is, and I'm saying this up front, like if, if it wasn't if it wasn't going to be in the game, I, I wasn't going to cry spill milk over it. Cause again, like I said, in this point day and age, like, who is really going to go out their freaking way to freaking go to a friend's place or whatever and stuff like that just to play Sparking Zero on couch with family and friends. But again, maybe that's just me. That's just me, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know the whole dealio. Again, I'm glad it's a, it's a feature in this. And obviously, the freaking producer even made it plainly known that they was never even going to add this in with... Was never going to add it in if had been for fan feedback because... And the one of the major plot, the one of the major points they point out is because again, like I said, the game, bro. I'm gonna get into the gameplay and everything else, bro. The game is so fucking gorgeous. And they, again, outside of custom battle, they put in a lot of rent with the graphics and gameplay, bro. There is so much stuff, bro. They good. They are doing some good stuff, bro. Oh my god, it's so perfect. Oh, I wish I could, I could cry. Bro, there was like so many things going on in the stages, you know what I'm saying? Going over from just weather changes to the, the freaking stage, you know, destruction to whole literally stage literally being obliterated, literally planetary freaking destroying the freaking whole freaking world in whatever case may vary. Because again, I've seen it with Planet Namek. I've heard other sources that you could actually do it for other planets like Earth and so on. But again, like I said, I haven't really seen it, but I but I do know that it exists. I, again, I just have to wait and see for myself so I can finally confirm with my own eyes because I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm frame one about to ready to blow up the freaking planet, all right? I'm sorry. It's going to happen. I'm going to use Vegeta Final Flash on freaking Cell and I'm going to blow up the entire freaking planet, bro. I did this every single time with freaking... Playing on Buika Tenkai Ichi 2. One of my favorite moments when I was fighting freaking Cell with Super Vegeta was literally using Final Flash and blowing up that goddamn planet. <laughs> Either that or using Goku's Spear Bomb. But, you know, I, but, you know, it is what it is. But all in all, bro, oh my god. Actually, that's that's another thing, too, that I'm not, I'm not realizing. We have never seen Goku. I don't think I've ever seen any gameplay footage as of right now anyway where people have actually used goku's ultimate and it was like literally the spirit bomb everyone was so hyped up to just have goku transform into super saiyan and type b or super saiyan blue and stuff like that and i'm not i'm not, I'm not trying to downplay that that's actually you know what i'm saying like again 
again, super content is in super in Sparking Zero, you know, the first in, in any in, in the Spark in the Budokai Tenkaichi series, the Sparking series in general. So again, that's what people wanted to cover the most, but my god, like bro, like come on now. Like you're telling me that like all y'all literally played Goku early or Goku mid, hell, even Goku end, then you're telling me that y'all didn't like confirm that bro got a whole super spirit bomb that could probably destroy the freaking stage. I mean, I mean man. It is what it is. Again, I'm not really going to put too much hate on there because, again, like I said, uh, according to many of the creators, most of them, like, they literally only had, like, 30 minutes, like, only 30 minutes to record content for the game. Some even less and some even less and some even more because I heard one creator would, like, had the opportunity to record 45 minutes while... So, uh, another creator was only able to create like record like um 25 which is like bro what the frick but anyways beggars can't be choosers anyway um <clears throat> what was I talking? yes uh <clears throat> this stage instructions like again there's like so much you can do in the stages and stuff like that that pretty much you know what i'm saying it, it would really like adding even a split screen or even local multiplayer in general would kind of like mess things up a little bit it will like you know what i'm saying because it, it, there'll be too much going on right so they have pretty much like just kept local multiplayer just for one stage and that's hyperbox time chamber maybe they'll add more stages in the future who knows but again like i said with how they've pretty much like put how sparking zero is with you know what i'm saying with how again like i said with how much going on with the stages again like who knows again I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to downplay anything, anything, anything could happen at this point. I mean, shit, we never thought we was ever going to get a whole new Budokai Tenkaichi game 17 years later. Yet here the frick we are, bro. Here the frick we are. And bro, bro, I, I gotta get into it, bro. The freaking gameplay and stuff. Oh my God. I've already talked about the stage destructions and stuff like that. And like, again, first off, just to go into more deep. This is the one thing that was missing from Xenoverse so wholeheartedly outside of just the, the planetary destruction where pretty much you would just destroy the entire fucking map and change it into a whole nother map. They also have permanent damage to like the stage. Like if you like shoot a Kamehameha or a Final Flash Gallic Gun or a Death Ball or whatever, or just shoot massive fucking key blasts on in every freaking area. There will be craters there or scorch marks on the earth and or on the planet in general, and it will stay there. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand how much I wanted this in any Dragon Ball game. Bro, Xenoverse 1 and 2 failed me. Fighters has it, but it's a 2D free, 2.5D fighting game, bro. And Kakarot, man, what, what the fuck about Kakarot, dude? Bro, they fucking did it. They, oh my god, I wish that, bro. I'm so happy about that, bro. That that was like the one big thing. Because again, like Xenoverse 1 and 2, like, you know what I'm saying? They kind of got it somewhat right, but not really. Like the only, th like there was so much missing from it. And Sage Destruction was just one of them, especially with how much, like, freaking skills and abilities you can be able to use with freaking customization characters and stuff like that. Bro, it's just, oh my god. And also, very fun fact, uh, and this is from the World Tournament stage. I'm actually going to actually talk about a little bit more into it when it comes down to the World Tournament stage in general right now. But outside of, um, I've, I've seen freaking, I've already saw, like, a footage where pretty much... If you literally like launch a massive fucking ultimate attack on the freaking stage, like you know, a powerful ass beam, bro, the announcer would be like, "Everyone evacuate! The match is over. We get get to running type stuff." <laughs> it is so freaking funny. I, I've seen this with freaking a uh, Goku mid against um Gohan, and he's launching that angry comment at me. Uh, and Gohan's just got that face like, "Dad, chill, bro." <laughs> It is so funny, bro. I, I was dying laughing. I was genuinely dying laughing because, bro, it it it's it's literally fucking funny. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. And, th and that little, like, that little thing in there. Again, like I said, and after you, like, launch that ultimate attack and the whole stage clears out, the whole map opens up, which is, again, amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So you could probably really go crazy with the ultimate attacks and actually destroy the entire stage, baby. Who knows? Again, like I said, and, I th and I, as far as I'm, I've seen from gameplay footage is that I've never really seen, like, world barriers, or at least if, if, they're, if they're even in there, it's very, 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 very far. Because, my God, the stages are absolutely massive, bro. Oh, my gosh. And you just, it looks like you could do just do so much in those stages. But back to the World Tournament stage, just one little thing that's um kind of irking me, kind of a little grinding my gears a little bit. And that's like, I've seen multiple like uh, gameplay footages where pretty much I've seen where in, in a fighting in the World Tournament stage, You've seen characters literally like get knocked out of the ring, like like they're literally like hit the freaking ground type shit. Not the ring stage or anything, just the literal ground, literally the uh, bounds like part, and they get back up and the match is still continuing, which is kind of crazy. So ring out is basically <laughs> not even a thing, or maybe it is, but they pretty much don't have it enabled. Which, if if that's the case, then that's a very fucking cool feature. And that actually gives, because like, again, like I said, the World Tournament stage has always been like a very unique stage for Budokai, for not even just Budokai, but also Budokai Tenkaichi in general as well, because it has the ability, like you have to really be careful in the ring, because if you make one misstep, if you make one miscalculate, and obviously you have to make sure you make sure that your ass don't get flying everywhere, because if you touch the like any outside part outside of just the ring stage itself, you're 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 cooked. You're, you're done. You, you you lost the fight. You lost the match. <laughs> That's it's like instant loss. They have like an enable and, and disable feature. Again, like I say, it'll make it makes it'll make the world tournament stage. Again, like I say, it'll just make it even more unique than it already is. Because again, like I say, even heck, even in, in the old Budokai Tenkaichi games, um, in general, uh. They like you could never destroy that that world tournament stage. Like I'm, what I mean, I mean you could, but you but you couldn't like you know planetary devastate. Not in the not in the scale where Sparkling Zero has it, where pretty much everyone clears out and obviously you know what I'm saying the whole the whole map just opens up. No, that, it's not like that. Not even close to that. So yeah, that's the one thing I absolutely love about the world tournament stage as right now and stuff like that that they're doing good. Again, uh. Other stages like the Supreme Kai World, other stuff like that. Again, all of them look freaking beautiful, phenomenal. Again, I just have to. I I oh, I just gotta need to know more. I need to know more. I, I, first off, I really just need to get this fucking game. Honestly, again, I already pre-ordered the game. I just gotta wait until October. Bro. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long ass wait for me. Oh, it's gonna be a long ass wait. But oh my gosh. But going going into gameplay. Oh, bro, the gameplay, bro, the fucking gameplay. First off. Almost every single character I have seen as people have played. Oh my god. Almost every single character. Cause there's cause there's been one critique that a lot of people always say about the the Blue Cat and Gaiji game, especially Sparking Zero or Sparking in general Sparking Series in general, is that every character would uh, would sometimes play the same. It would be copy paste, you know what I'm saying? They will, everybody would have uh, similar, have a same move set, same, you know what I'm saying, super attack, same ultimate attack, blah, 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 all that, all that craziness, right? But as far as I have seen, I repeat, as far as I have seen, almost every single character is not copy and pasted in terms of like, like just straight up like move sets in general. Cause bro, I'm a I'm a keep it to some bolt closer with you. Almost every single character that I've seen people play, almost every single last one of them have a unique move set, have a unique super attack, have a unique ultimate attack. Like brother bear. Again, this game, this game looking fire, bro. This game looking so fucking clean. I need this game now. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro! Like the 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 in the 
speed, the bro, the the speed, the speed in just combat. Oh my goodness! And a lot, and a creator did ask me, or or just ask the the fandom in general, uh, that compared to the Budokai Tenkaichi games or Spark in the Sparking Zero, it, or at least Budokai Tenkaichi Three and Sparking Zero, is Sparking Zero way fast? Yes. It is absolutely 110% faster in, in terms of competitive play or you playing a whole bunch slot. It is absolutely faster. Oh my God. <coughs> like they upped the speed by a lot. I mean a lot by just from what I've seen on footage. They have upped the combat speed tremendously. Like bro, you're, it is absolutely crazy it's it's freaking crazy dog oh my goodness speed the combat everything else and i did say something uh in, in a stream with one of the creators that was uh <clears throat> doing an ama who i literally said that this game does look like a mixture of raging glass and xenoverse and budokai tenkai you just put in together in just one thing and bro just shot me the fuck down. I was like, no, nigga, that, that is not it at all. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> like, bro, it literally is. Like I'm, like, I'm not talking about, like, in terms of, like, uh, not in terms of, like, the actual gameplay itself, like, combat and stuff like that. No, like, that shit is Budokai Tenkaichi at its finest. But in terms of, like, <clears throat> the other stuff, like the HUD and stuff like that, bro, it is literally, I repeat, it is literally, there is some mixture, there is a little bit of Xenoverse and Raging Blast, because as far as I'm aware, the whole, like, the whole, like, wheel thing, like, like, the, the thing that you, like, could swap characters out, as well as transformations, that's Raging Blast, all, all the way free, I don't know what bro was tripping on, as well as the, you doing fusions and stuff like that, and on top of all of that, why I say also say as a mixture of Xenoverse 2 because um, you can actually just pull up a skill list while you're charging and you can like choose between either uh, using your super attacks, obviously your ultimate attack if you like charge your key up all the way, or um, you choose one of the hidden like abilities that you got, like either instant transmission, stuff like that, like, you know, like one of the hidden passive skills that is in integrated in your character where you pretty much have to use like um, skill points, you know what I'm saying? Like whether you're using the solar flare, uh, wild sense, after image, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it, like my God, like compared to what it was in Budokai Tenkai HD3, like you had to like actually like press like a combination of certain button presses. You know what I'm saying? And you really, and you really, you literally had to like, who was pressing the right move set, like the right super attack and ultimate attack to pretty much, you know, do it because I was, because even if not, you had to go into the skill list because, but this right here, this right here, my brother, this right here, this will probably like, at least for the most part, make sure that a lot of players while they're playing this game, at least competitively, they will like, you know what I'm saying? They won't have to worry about, you know what I'm saying? Probably going through the skill list and stuff like that, which is which is pretty much be a little bit more streamlined because again, they're going to have network play and online play in general. So obviously you're going to have to learn your P's and Q's. You're not going to go into the pause menu and learn like, you know what I'm saying? Your skill list and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like what you got, what you don't got. So obviously, yeah, <clears throat> but all in all, hell, even the whole like, yeah, and, and and another thing that also makes a return back in the Raging Blast is the fact that you, like, you don't even, like, uh, I mean, yeah, you, like, you charge up all the way to max key, but you also have, like, this Raging Soul Boost, where pretty much, like, for those that, that play Raging Blast, you know what I'm saying, you, like, have be able to extend combos and stuff like that, but you also be able to access your ultimate attack, which, again, is a fire. I've seen, I've seen a good chunk of a lot of characters' ultimate attacks. Just beautiful. Just absolutely freaking beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Excuse me. The uh, gameplay, just the game modes. Again, this game is going to be good. And obviously we've seen, and there's like a bunch of other game modes like World Terminal. I've seen there's a World Terminal in there and a whole bunch of other stuff, museum, stuff like that. Again, this game will be, it'll be fire, bro. Now there is one other thing 
I think the one thing that's genuinely concerning to me, and I don't know if anybody, I mean, I've seen people talk about it. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. A few, not a lot, but a good couple. And that is mainly pertaining to GT content. I have not seen any GT content as of yet. Hell, I haven't even seen a crumb, a crumb of Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Vegeta or even my my goat Jita, okay? I'm I'm a little I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck of some coach with you. If that if GT's not in the base roster, I'm gonna be mad disappointed. I'm gonna be absolutely disappointed. Because bro, like that's all that's like that is like all they need. Just put GT in there. And I will I will not have a sem a singular complaint about this game. Now there there was other creators that was making uh, now speaking of complaints, I'll go back to GT in a minute. But a lot of creators was 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 giving fair criticism, giving fair criticism about the like the cameras and stuff like that, how you know what I'm saying, like the bugs bugs and glitches that were in the game. And uh congratulations, y'all played yourselves, you know what I'm saying? Because apparently uh the all the creators all play like an older build, a very old build, might I add, of Sparking Zero, according to a lot of sources. They played a very, very old build where they didn't even bother fixing any of the bugs or glitches. And the new build, which is Japanese exclusive, which I'm pretty sure I've pretty much, I'm showing everybody's gameplay here, but the Japanese, <coughs> I'm also showing like Japanese exclusive raw footage of the demo. And my God, They've they, like everything's been fixed in that in that build. Everything's been fixed. Everything that people said about like the camera and like some bugs and glitches, all that's been fixed. Every single last one of them has been fixed. And that's another thing too that I'm actually gonna go into. That pretty much they've they know Spartan like the the dev team know what the frick they're doing, bro. At this point, honestly, I'm I'm very I'm very certain that they pretty much already finished the game now. They're just like just releasing bit builds just just releasing like older builds and just getting like critiques and stuff like that because they like 10 steps ahead like <laughs> they're like a hundred billion steps ahead uh on the freaking learning curve because they uh, as far as i'm aware they've got like so many builds according to sources they got so many like builds of this game already that like you know what i'm saying like people that are now criticizing they've already been fixed which is insane but again yeah man but back to GT in general, like I again, like I said, I hope to God they add it into the base roster. And some people was kind of different about it. Some people was saying that, hey, bro, I don't give a fuck about GT in general. That GT is a bad anime or it's bad in general. I just personally don't like GT. As far as character design goes, I don't really care about any of those characters whatsoever. You never see me play with them in Xenoverse and you never will because I just don't care personally i just don't care to be honest gt shouldn't even be in discussion right now i mean this is a dragon ball super game our first real dragon ball super game so i feel like even trying to bring gt in discussion is just weird it's just a really weird vibe i don't understand it and gt didn't even make dragon ball dragon ball like it was a spin-off series like it's not even really a dragon ball franchise you know stop it Get some help. I'm saying it wasn't made by Akira Toriyama. And also, if a Dragon Ball Sparking Zero game came out and it was only based off one Dragon Ball series, Z, Super, and GT, which title do you think will sell the worst? Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, or GT? Me personally, I think GT would sell the worst out of those. Shut up, bitch! Oh my God. Oh my God. Look, listen, 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 listen. Let's look, look in my fucking eyes. And let me tell you something, my brother. Whether you give a fuck about GT or not, I don't care. But you is wild if you say that GT, GT, does not deserve, does not deserve to be in Budokai Tenkaichi Sparking Zero. You are out of your kind picking mind. This is a sick Negro. Listen, bro. Listen. Let me let me hear y'all. Let me let me let me cook. Let me spit my facts. Okay. When Budokai Tenkaichi came out, bro. Literally, one of the biggest staples was GT. Like, literally, everything about it was literally GT. Like, everybody was playing Super Saiyan 4. Goku, Vegeta, Gogeta, and probably was even playing some of the other characters like Baby Vegeta. 
Omega Shenron and maybe the other Shenrons and Blue Cat Tengai G3. Like, my, like, bro, GT is here to stay. Like, what the freak? Like, bro, it is an absolute staple in the Budokai Tenkai Eiji series. It is, it is known, it is a staple. Similar, it is a staple, similar to freaking the beam clashes and melee clashes, the stage destructions, the planetary devastations, all that. GT has that place. It deserves to be in that place. And anybody that pretty much says that, oh, we got super now. GT don't, I don't, I don't care about GT now. Man, shut the F up forever. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> okay, GT deserves to be in this game, all right? Base roster, mind you. I repeat, base. When they fucking told me that they was only going to be including Dragon Ball Z all the way up to super and no GT or no Dragon Ball in general, I was, something hurt me, man. Something hurt me because I, I fuck with GT Heavy, bro. It is my favorite series. It, it, like, it, like, it literally gave us, it is a proper sequel to Dragon Ball Z. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Whether you're a super fanboy or not, you cannot tell me that Super is a direct sequel to Z at any point. Like, bro, even till right now, by the recording of this video, we are no, like, we are coming close to the end of Z. <laughs> we not even haven't even reached, but ain't even gone past end of Z. GT has already done that and then some. So I do not want to hear it. One super crosses the end of Z and everything else in general, then we'll have that friggin' discussion of whether or not Super is a an absolute proper sequel or not. But but all in all, bro, GT deserves to be in this game. Now Again, story-wise, obviously it's not going to be in the game, but I, I have seen, I have seen in, in the game, in the footage, in the trailers, that Kid Goku is in that game. Kid Goku is in <clears throat> Sparking Zero, because there's a little screenshot of him. It's very blurred, but you can really make it out. To, like, Kid Goku is in there. Like, not GT Kid Goku, Dragon Ball Kid Goku. So if they're able to put in... Dragon Ball Kid Goku, then you better believe that they're at least putting like they're putting at least some Dragon Ball characters in there, like OG Dragon Ball, like maybe King Piccolo and Tambourine, maybe Nam, who knows? And then and maybe Jackie. Well, Jackie Chung is like a pretty much an alternate skin for freaking Roshi, so don't uh, disregard that. Android Eight. So if they're able to like at least put some Dragon Ball characters, then they have to do it with with with, with some GT characters. As of uh, from what I've heard, the the max like roster size that they're going to include will be 164 characters. So far, as far as I've heard, the the max max cap base roster that they're going to have is 164. <clears throat> if if they're going to just go by a minimum of just adding in certain GT characters, then obviously Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta and Gogeta have to be in that game. It is non-negotiable, okay? They're, they got to be in that game. They have to be in that game without a freaking shadow of a doubt. Omega Shenron, Baby Vegeta, Super 17, and that should be it. That, that 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 literally should be it. Just it. Just Super Super Saiyan 4 Goku, <clears throat> Super Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Go Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Omega Shenron, Baby Vegeta, Super 17, and Pan and Oob. That's for the most part. That's pretty much it. Especially Oob. You know what I'm saying? Especially Oob. So. All in all, that's pretty much it that I got right now. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Spartan Zero. To me personally, this game is going to be a freaking masterpiece, bro. It is going to be an absolute freaking masterpiece. I'm going to enjoy the absolute hell playing this game. Like, frame one. So yeah, like this video, comment down below. Share this video across social media if you can and subscribe if you're new to my channel.
This is Player Psych signing out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!